Hey, what's going on YouTube? Or I'm 25 here bringing you another video on the Pokemon trading card game online and today we have a deck profile. It's been a really long time since I had a deck profile and I was asked to share my list on Don Fan Robot, so I will take my time and do that right now. Yeah boy. And let's see, well Don Fan Roberts, I'm running a very standard line. I, at least that is what I think. As you can see I'm running to Holucha just because Holucha is um, great against things like Evil Tail. <laughs> it deals so much damage on Evil Tail and Lugia EX thanks to Shining Spirit. And it's for only one energy, which is really really good. Um, for Fampy, for Don Fan, pretty standard. And I don't think there is a Don Fan deck not running for four of these ones. Again, Evil Tell and Lugia are annoying, especially. Um, well, this deck is supposed to deny your opponent's prizes, but Lugia pretty much gets rid of that strategy. So a good way to try to deal with um, Lugia will be Sacrum. That is what I'm running one. Then we have one Mr. Mime. I always want to prevent damage on my bench because, well, one of the greatest strengths of Dunfan is being able to run into the bench and stay free of damage. And you want to keep your uh, Dunfans free of damage. So that is what I'm running one. Mr. Mime won Sigilyph, again pretty standard because, well, this helps you fight, <laughs> well, not fight, but this helps you stopping um, EX decks, pretty much the whole format, <laughs> except for Donphan, and to Boba Fett because, uh, you'll see, if I was asked which deck um, gain the most out of Phantom Forces, I will say Dunfan. Dunfan takes advantage of so many cards in the format right now that it's huge. Dunfan was really really strong and now, I, in my opinion, is stronger than before. Why Wolfet is so good in Dunfan? Well, maybe the worst matchup for Dunfan was the recent Genesect, especially because, well, they have access to Rexinal, Red Sinal, a lot of times, it's not like most of the decks that are um, bound or bound to the amount of Lysanders they are playing, no. The reason Genesis can play both Lysander and also have Red Sinal. Um, I have not seen that many Lysanders being played on the reason Genesis. I like it, I play at least one. But Wobo Fett prevents your opponent from having access to that Drake Signal that they really really need in order to efficiently KO your Dunfans. Other than that, another good set of abilities that you want to block. Um, Bronsong is something that you want to block. Um, what else? Uh, I will not say Pyroar because you are running Dunfan, you have a counter for Pyroar, but there are uh, a few good abilities that you really want to block out there. Um, uh, better than Wind, Wing, Red Sinel, Rasheen, Dark Cloak, things like that. The, all those abilities are things that you really want to block. Uh, then moving on to the trainers, the card that makes Dunfan more annoying than ever, Robo Substitute. You can play this card in your bench and it acts as a Pokemon, a, a 30 HP colorless basic Pokemon, but when your opponent knocks it out, your opponent does not take a prize. Which is why Dunfan is so annoying nowadays, <laughs> because you can pretty much Promote this thing when you use spinning turn and your opponent will have to either waste a Lysander in order to try to go for something else on the bench or waste a turn, a whole turn trying to get rid of just one Robo Substitute. Yeah, that's huge because not only your opponent has to take six prizes one at a time, now your opponent has to knock out as many robots as you are able to play, which makes Ro uh, Donphan uh, the most annoying deck 
I think after Treven and um, Axel Kortosnor, I think this is one of the most annoying decks we have ever seen. Well, at least in my Pokemon career, this is one of the most annoying decks we have ever seen. Two Starling Megaphones, just because, not exactly Garbodor, but I will say um, Muscle Van is annoying, Floatstone is annoying. There are a lot of tools right now, and you really want to get rid of them. Yeah. Then we have three Ultra Balls, pretty standard. My favorite card of the whole Phantom Forces. Versus Seeker. Versus Seeker is such a good card at the moment. Uh, the last time we saw Versus Seeker was back from Rising Rivals, I think. Back in the Diamond and... no, the Platinum era. At the time it was not that good, but at the time we did not have such strong supporters as we do now. And what's great about this thing is that, well, it gives you extra Lysanders, it gives you extra Professor Juniper, it gives you extra Corinas, it gives you so many extras that it's just so amazing. <laughs> and, well, let's go into my supporter line. I'm running to Corina just because Corina is amazing in fighting setup decks. And. Well, you have to evolve Dumpen, so that counts as a setup, and that's why Corina is such an amazing supporter in these kind of decks. I'm running just two, I don't like to run more, I have seen people run up to four Corinas. Um, in my personal opinion, I like to draw cards. <laughs> yeah, there are some times when you want to get something really, really specific, that is why I'm playing Corina, but most of the times you will want to draw cards. To Lysander, pretty much standard. Um, Especially now that <laughs> Versus Seeker is in play, uh, I hope I will not see people playing for Lysander and for Versus Seeker. But I was never expecting to see people playing for Lysander and I have seen that before, so maybe I will see 4 and 4. Then we have a really, really interesting card. Lysander's Trump card. This is a new supporter from Phantom Forces. I love this card. In other trading card games such as Magic the Gathering, I'm not quite sure about Yu-Gi-Oh, but in Magic the Gathering, cards like this have been have existed in the past, and they can actually be really anno annoying to deal with. Not only because <clears throat> it gives you resources back, not only that, it also can make your opponent to... Well, let me put it this way. Um, never before this era the discard pile on Pokemon trading card game has been has had such an important role as nowadays. We have so many cards and so many effects that activate from the discard pile that it's amazing and it's too strong to have a discard pile. Let's talk about things like Dark Patch, which is not available on modified format, but we have Dark Patch on extended format, expanded format. Uh, things like Dynamotor, Bronson, which pretty much does the same, but for um, metal Pokemon or steel Pokemon. Execute, um, what is Blacksmith? We have so many reasons to have things on our discard pile. Another, ex another good example and very recent example will be Nightmarch. And yeah, you have seen me play <laughs> this deck against Nightmarch and win just by playing Lysander's Trump card once and again and again and again and again and again and again. It's, it's frustrating for, <laughs> for a lot of the cards that we have on the format um, being played. Uh, one Lysander Strumpf card. Yeah, you can get resources back, you can disrupt your opponent, and if your opponent does not have a supporter, a draw supporter, when you play Lysander Strumpf card, most likely he will have issues trying to get things out of his deck. If, you're, if you manage of, or you are able to do that, you are in such an amazing spot. You have no idea how amazing spot you're on when that happens. It feels just like, um, well, you're playing against nobody because if he does not manage to get those true supporters, 
he will have to run through his whole deck again. And, well, if the game has advanced a lot, N will be huge because N will not be a draw supporter anymore. Because if... Okay, let's see. Uh, you play Lysander's Trump card on a very advanced game. Let's say your opponent has taken four prizes. And you get back into his deck all his ends and yours. You have so many chances to put him back to, a, to such a small hand. And if he does not manage to draw into something that he needs, that's pretty much GG. That is why this combina the combination of these two cards can be such a strong combination. Yeah, that is huge. Of course, if um, you play that and the only supporters that you have are in, you are um, not in a really good spot. <laughs> you don't want to be in a spot like that. Moving on, we have the pretty much standard for Professor Juniper. Oh, by the way, uh, because we have this uh, combination of two cards on the Pokemon trading card game nowadays, I have seen many people running less ends. I have seen people running two or three ends, adding things like Bianca, <laughs> which I have not seen a lot in the past, or things like uh, Shona. For example, I have seen a split of three Shona, two ends just trying to not run into Lysander's trump card because this card is being widely played and as I told you before, if you don't have a consistent draw supporter at the moment this thing is played, you lose. You lose. <laughs> so, uh, well, I'll go into things that I um, could change for future reference. But moving on, we have to fighting stadiums. Not only fighting stadium helps your Donphan and your Holuchas to deal some extra damage, it also helps Donphan to use Wreck in a more consistent way. Besides that, you can get rid of opposing stadiums. Let's say um, Dimension Valley, uh, Beerbank City Gym, Steel Shelter. I think that's the name for the Steel Stadium. There are so many good stadiums at the moment, even when we don't have Tropical Beach on the format, <laughs> or, well, on modified format. But having your own stadium to counter your opponent's stadium, it's always good, and this really serves the purpose. It gives so much synergy to Donovan. Then we have four floatstones. I was running three when I was playing Donovan Dragons, but a lot of the times I was left with no... Floatstones, <laughs> and well, things started to go wrong, so I decided to add one more, even though I'm playing Lysander's Trump card, and to end up my uh, supporters, items, and stadiums, I will have three muscle band. Normally, I will run. Uh, two muscle bands and one silver bangle, but since we have so many non-EX decks at the moment in the name of Donphan, which is one of the strongest decks right now, and Nine March, which I don't think is that strong, but it will be, it can become really, really annoying. Because if your opponent manages to get one new EX and one Dimension Valley, it's just such an efficient deck. It's it's hard to stop it once it goes that way. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I'm not running 2 and 1. Uh, moving into the energy, I'm running a pretty standard energy line uh, for DCEs, for um, fighting energy, for strong energy. I think that's what every deck is playing. Uh, curious thing about this. I'm not running Sacred Ash, the reason I'm not running Sacred Ash is because Lysander's Trump card, it's such a strong card, again. Uh, actually, I was waiting for an effect like this one, being available on Pokemon so, um, from a long time ago. I'm really, really happy that we, we finally get to see a card like this, especially now that the discard pile, I cannot uh, stress enough how important the discard pile is nowadays. <laughs> Anyway, let's move into possible changes. Okay, um, Halucha is a possible change. I'm running to Halucha just because, well, Halucha hits hard, hits fast, 
He will tell does not appreciate Halucha. But more than that, Halucha has no retreat cost. In case you are not able to get floatstones in time, uh, this will allow you to save your down fans. And, well, I... Wolver has been used as set up fire against me, so... <laughs> if I had gotten another Halucha, I mean... Uh, yeah, I discarded one Halucha that game uh, in trying to get Wolfed, but... Pretty much that turned out the opposite way because Wolfhead was used as set of fodder. I was not able to pull my floatstone, say what I was not swept. I won, but it was really, really hard to be able to take the game. Then, um, uh, well, we can change that. We can also try to play just one Wolfhead. Wolfhead most likely is there for various Genesec matches. And even though it's a really good card, sometimes too it's just too much. Yeah. Another card that you can play um, that will help you, let's say, another one Kayurim, one Outrage Kayurim. It helps so much on the mirror match because Stunfan is weak to water, just one DC, and sometimes you will be able to knock out two Dunfans. Which is huge. It's really, really huge. Other thing yet that you can add, as you have seen on my Donphan Dragons deck list, will be one Retroam that also helps you deal with um, the recent Genesect. It'll it helps you to deal with uh, Steel Pokemon because uh, Metal Pokemon are kind of common nowadays. Um, I don't think that is such a strong deck. I prefer the non-EX version than the EX version, but, well, x Slash is annoying uh, and being able to power up a huge attacker turn after turn after turn is always annoying. It's always hard to stop, especially if they are playing a huge amount of Lysanders or a huge amount in combination of versus Ikir and Lysander. That can be really, really annoying. And pretty much that's it. Um, what else could I... Oh, yeah. Other changes, dropping down one or two ends in favor of Bianca's or um, Shona's, just so you get you don't get trapped into Lysander's trump card. And I think pretty much that's it. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, you have seen this deck being played a lot last week. So I think the deck has been pretty self-explanatory. Um, give it a try. Dunfan, if you are playing Dunfan, it's a really fun deck. If you are playing against Dunfan, it's, uh, it's a matchup that will make you want to cry. <laughs> so yeah, give it a try. It's a really strong deck. It's a very cheap deck. Um, what else can I say? Just... Go for it. It's a good deck for series and league challenges. And in general, it's a really, really good deck. I just wanted to make sure, yeah, Donovan, as you can see, is uncommon. It's uncommon. <laughs> uh, that's That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Anyway, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to see more content. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. See ya.